What up, though, squad? It's your boy, Kevin the Big Taurus. Fit! No bull, just ball. Baby. It's popping with you, YouTube. Top of the morning to you, Sunday morning, as a matter of fact. Um, arms Day. Uh, how to grow your arms in 30 days? Guaranteed. Get about a quarter inch of your size on your arms here in about, about 14 days. This is pretty big arm day. I'm going to record it. I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, I'm going to add some commentary. Some of you, this may apply to you. Some of you uh, advanced lifters, you might find some gems in here. Some of you uh, not so advanced heavy users. I need to clean up that beard, man. God damn, I need to show you. Some of you advanced users that are not, or, so, or sorry, some of you newbie users that are, that are lifters that are new to the gym that want to grow, you can find some gems in here as well. Uh, hopefully this will help you out and get you some size on your arms, which everybody likes to have big guns. So please stay tuned. I got a lot of information to give you. Hopefully this ain't going to be a super long video because some people like to comment that uh, take too long to explain shit they begin to explain in like five seconds and... I just don't see how. Anyway, uh, that's just how I get out, man. Uh, about to start off the day. Uh, yeah, you see that watermelon back there? I like watermelon. It was cheap. And it's not because I'm black. It's just because that's good. That was a good deal at Walmart. So I picked it up. Uh, going to it for you new guys, newbies, uh, new lifters, uh, whether you are two years in, three years in, uh, and less. Something that you may not do that you need to incorporate is a nice carb meal before you get to the gym, uh, maybe 30 minutes prior to your workout so you can get a nice pump and you can actually power through your training session. Boom, get this in your household. Cream of rice, very good. I got the, I, used to, I just eat packs of, or boxes of this before uh, with chicken. Uh, you guys saw that in some of my other videos. Uh, so I'm going to do that this morning as well as uh, egg whites, uh, get a carton of egg beaters at your local Walmart, wherever, grocery store. Get that in you prior to you uh, going to the gym uh, so that you can have a powerful training session. So we're doing that. Stay tuned, man. Central, uh, so I'm getting on this uh, tricep extension machine just to get these uh, focus, just to get these elbows and these uh, ligaments warmed up. That is always essential in anything you do, guys. Uh, start training, always warm up uh, before we go ahead and jump off into these uh, heavy weights. So let's get this started. All right, guys. Uh, welcome to the to the vlog. I don't even know if you can call this a vlog. Anyway, uh, big arms day. Hope everybody's doing really good. Uh, so, ton of videos on YouTube in regards to building arms. Now, you guys know I like to give an extensive behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but an extensive uh, instructions uh, on why I do certain things and why I train uh, the way that I do. So. Uh, Here's my take uh, on my particular arm training. Uh, and, it, and it, you know, guys, in order to actually grow, you, you, you absolutely have to 100% push yourself further than you have before, obviously, in order to make changes that are necessary. You have to push yourself farther than you have before. So get uh, creative uh, with your training. That, that uh, is essential. Uh, as far as I'm concerned because obviously there's not a whole bunch of new things that we can do uh, but there are things that we can do better with what we have uh, so having said that as you guys can see right now uh, I decided to go ahead and get warmed up which is typical uh, because a lot of you probably are suffering from elbow tendonitis or some people just have a hard time doing skull crushers and it, ha and it hurts their joints uh, especially in the elbows so uh, warm up uh, essentially that, that's important man get warmed up first uh, so what I've done is I usually take about 15 to 20 minutes to get warmed up and what basically I have done is I've taken 
a 25 pound dumbbell and I've come over here to this uh, adjustable incline bench and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to start working out uh, my triceps without having um, a lot of extra leverage uh, and I take that out uh, take all of that other stuff out of play uh, by utilizing this incline bench and this uh, this particular exercise or sets of exercises taking me at least six minutes to complete uh, for some of you this could be a potentially a whole workout uh, for arms for some of you this is a warm-up just like myself so what I've done is I've taken 25 pound dumbbells and now I'm doing 20 uh, incline skull crushers uh, and again this could help some of you with your elbow tendonitis that don't necessarily like traditional skull crushers this can take some of that tension off uh, so give this a try so i've done incline skull crushers for 20 and then i've immediately turned over uh, and done reverse kickbacks now the uh, adding creativity comes into play where you can actually turn your hands uh, facing backwards Utilizing different angles uh, to hit uh, the triceps in different facets. So, uh, again, 20 pounds, uh, which is 20 reps, 25 pounds. And then uh, I do 20 reps uh, incline uh, traditional, and I do 20 reps facing backwards. Uh, and what this is doing is, is, again, this is hitting in different angles. I've said this so many times before. Uh, I'm going to continue to repeat this over and over again because it's essential because it works. It actually works. Uh, not only do I notice it, other people notice it, but I can feel uh, the progress that this has added for me. Uh, so this is a drop set that I'm doing. And again, I've told you before, the reason why we do drop sets is so that you can push uh, that particular set a lot farther. Uh, so I drop from 25 to 20 pounds, do the same thing, and then you can also go I have uh, 15 pounds doesn't seem like a lot of weight guys but once you're doing it for you know 30 40 seconds after you've already done another three or four minutes prior to that with a heavier weight uh, 15 pounds is 15 pounds no matter how you slice it and if your arms are already fatigued uh, that 15 pounds feels like 50 for so so some of you guys that cannot push uh, the heavier amount of weights do not be afraid to pick up 15 to 25 pound 20 pound dumbbells ego uh, lifting kills more gains uh, than anything else ever will so uh, leave your ego at the door man get that out of the way and you know utilize proper form and lighter weight to uh, gravitate into heavier uh, longer rep sets so that you can get the most out of your training session so that was my first exercise that I did and it was pretty phenomenal alright guys so uh, next exercise is a superset big difference between drop sets and supersets um, this is going to be a superset including a cable and the reason why I'm using cables on these is because cable offers a lot of tension time under tension a constant tension on the muscle uh, so we, we can constantly recruit those fibers to uh, tear down, get micro tears to build more muscle, right? So what we're going to do here is a super set. Uh, we're using a bar that runs in the hands. And the reason why I say it runs in the hands is because it goes like this, all right? Utilizing wrist position to incorporate and, pre and get more uh, engagement in that muscle. We're going to utilize our wrist with that bar that runs in the hands to engage that muscle even more to stretch out. All right, that uh, that rep. So what we're gonna do is hands down position, then we're gonna do a reverse, and then we're gonna superset that with 25 pound dumbbells, and we're gonna do 20 reps on skull crushes. All right, so this is a superset. And then wait. Elbows locked. Yeah, 20. 
niche, reverse. All right, get down here. as many as you can. Try for 20, 10 to 15 is perfect. We do four sets of this. 20, 20, 10 to 15, rest, and then we'll do it again for four more sets. All right, Jits, so here we go, man. Uh, I love cables, especially on arms day because uh, it gives you constant time or detention and it really gives me a nice little pump uh, when I do buys and trials in here. So, if you guys haven't already, man, try this particular exercise out. If you haven't done this before, this little combination of uh, reverse and forward um, uh, cable push downs for triceps. Uh, that bar, if you particularly have that bar in your, in your particular gym, please use it uh, because you can extend your wrist forward and that'll help uh, activate more uh, muscle fiber in those, in those triceps. Uh, it'll actually take a lot of tension off your uh, elbow joints as well. But more muscle fibers in that tricep is more tension in that muscle to help push more blood. So why do I do 20 reps each and all of this? Uh, it seems like a lot, but it really isn't because these are almost to be. When you get over the 15 rep range, you're going like that with no stop. It's almost uh, in the blood starving set, uh, set, uh, set uh, element, which it really isn't because my hands aren't elevated. Uh, but the fact that you're fatiguing your arm so much and it's just starving for blood and oxygen. Uh, that is going to help uh, incorporate more growth and force your arms to adapt to this type of training which forces them to grow even more uh, so guys if you haven't tried this please man jump outside the box think outside the box and get this in your mind. this is phenomenal all right guys so utilize this cable to hit all three heads of the tricep now i know it's going to be a lot of smart alex out there to say well you're doing the same shit to hit the same muscle well, if you think about it in that in that aspect, then so be it. But this is a muscle-mind connection, and as you can see, it's been working for me. So if it works for me, I'm sure it can work for you. Uh, I'm no different than you are. We're all made of flesh and blood. So uh, what we're gonna do, set, a, uh, set the cable up. I'm using a rope, all right? I got it about halfway, which is shoulder height for me. I'm sawed off. 5'8", so this is shoulder height for me. Some of you long leg niggas, y'all probably be up here. That's fine, but this is where I am. So basically what we're gonna do, if my camera lady will step in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this machine from three different angles positions. So what I wanna do is I wanna hit the short head, I wanna hit the medial head, and I wanna hit this long head, all right, of the triceps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here, facing, all right, this is going this way, we're going this way, so we're in a perpendicular position, horizontal to the machine. Elbow, shoulder lick, shoulder height, and what I want to do is press out. When I'm here, I'm going to put most of my attention, most of my focus on the short head. Obviously, all three heads are going to be working, but I'm going to uh, recruit the short head and the tricep here. So here, okay, here, here. We're gonna go for 10. I don't want none of this. Focus. Squeeze. 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 And when I hit 10, what I'm going to do is angle myself about 15 degrees. Same position. And now what I'm going to do is focus on the medial head of the tricep. Here. What this is going to do is give me a longer stretch and more tension on that medial head. When I hit 10, what I'm going to do then, take my arm, come over, and now I'm going to hold with my, with my finger, back of my elbow, check out the angle. Long head, long head, long head. We're going to 
Let's switch the other side. Same, perpendicular. Fifteen degrees. Get on the other side. Get on the other side. Hand under, elbow, long head. All right, we're gonna do four sets of 10. It's three positions at 10 reps, that's 30 reps per arm. Do this, it's gonna grow them triceps massively. On to the next exercise. All right, squad, so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this thus far. Uh, I really love training arms. Uh, arms and shoulders obviously have become one of my favorites. Uh, back, legs, all that, you know, we keep that all uh, in the warehouse. But since this is arms, uh, that's what we're focusing on. So, what you see here, <laughs> a lot of you guys may have seen this before. Crunch is a great gym for me. I, I enjoy it because they have, um, my crunch has four sets of every weight, uh, free weight as far as uh, dumbbells are concerned. So this is where I can pull this off, especially uh, when there are people in the gym. Some of you may not be able to pull this off when you're having a semi-packed gym, uh, simply because you don't want to be a hog of weights and that people you know that's just not really good gym etiquette but because we have four sets of every dumbbell in this gym uh i can do this so as you see i got a uh, 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 aerobic mat uh and i get i got a 10 pound 15 pound 20 pound 25 pound 30 and a 35 pound dumbbell and what i'm doing uh is a run the rack sort of uh dumbbell um skull crusher session and when i actually got this gauntlet uh was from ct fletcher uh he made this kind of world famous so to speak uh so what i did was i kind of i kind of took his approach uh and i made it a uh arms day ending uh workout routine uh to end my my arm training i utilized his gauntlet uh, to top that off to finish it. This is a nice finisher for me. Some of you may not be able to do this and that's okay. You don't have to go 35 pounds. You can go 10, uh, 15, 20 to 25, uh, but up the rep range if you can't do the full 10 to 35 pound dumbbells. Up the rep range is exactly what I've done. All right, so I start at 10 and it's 20 reps each. And again, if you have to take a break, take a break. Uh, you don't have to blast all the way through it. I typically, if I'm feeling more fatigued, I'll stop at 10 uh, and then push my way all the way through the final 10 if I can. This is a lot, all right? It takes a lot of grit to get through this. Uh, so I go from 10 to 35 for the first round and then I'll give myself 60 second break and then I will power myself through from 35 all the way back down to 10 with the same exact rep range and honestly I try not to have a break uh, in between reps I uh, don't feel like um, I'm not gonna say it's not necessary but uh, the longer I can push myself the longer I can starve this muscle especially in this facet this is a this is 100% blood starving sets because your hands are elevated and my hands and arms are elevated above my heart so they're, they're when I cross them like you see right here they're dying like they really need blood and I'm, I'm trying to starve them from that so I can force more growth guys you gotta understand one thing man your body is going to adapt to whatever it is that you are doing and if you're forcing your body to do things that it does not normally do it has a just a instantaneous instinctive responsive system that it must survive whatever it is encountering so your body is going to change this is why you must change your way of thinking and do things that you haven't done before push yourself farther than you haven't pushed yourself before your body is going to change it is a matter of matter it is a matter of fact okay this is a mathematical 
physiological scientific fact your body is going to adapt and it will change if you want to change you got to change the way you're thinking man do things differently push harder go a little farther than you have before push yourself push 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 uh, my elbows can't take it that's fine do something else don't let small limitations limit your growth or stunt you from being able to reach that next level or potential in this in this fitness game like don't let those little things shut you down find another way man find another way this right here takes a lot of grit i couldn't do this a month and a half two months ago i could not barrel through this like this because i just wasn't mentally i didn't think i could do it physically i didn't know if i wanted to do it but once i started doing it it's knowing that my body was changing it started to become habitual for me like i could not go through sundays or any arm training session without at least doing this once uh i even one sunday i even went through it and did it four times uh, and my arms was like i was bumped. that was done i didn't have to do nothing else so there it is guys i hope you guys enjoyed this man uh, i'm trying to make more and more instructional videos i'm you know for those of you that don't like the length i'm sorry that it's it's taking so long uh, but i like to be informative as, as informative as i can uh and so a lot of people like these man not everybody is a fan uh but that's okay uh i love teaching so <laughs> that's what it is man i appreciate you guys checking into these videos thank you for all the love and support man this definitely does not go unnoticed and for all of you uh that continue to support me man much love to every one of you man please don't forget to like the video uh, leave me a comment subscribe to the channel show some love interact back and forth man any uh any you, you guys that are new lifters and you there are particular videos that you will be interested in please uh leave a comment in the comment box below uh and i'll see if i can throw some uh, instructional video up on that uh, for you guys and that's your boy who kevin the vet taurus third no bull just bought baby that's arms day Big arms, we got more training coming, man. We got a lot of other shit coming too. Not a lot of more epic editing coming. Uh, some other stuff I got in the works, man. So you guys stay tuned for that. I appreciate y'all, man. Peace.